lot of yapping. So many yapping everywhere, but I get it. It's important to lay down the foundations for this next coming arc. And what is actually happening? The main takeaways from last episode is Saigus's dad, Mr. Glasses, very cunning guy. Got some, um, got kind of the, not an order, but Kudo the page strike was fine with our plan to basically put ourselves on fire. Because how do you control the masses? By having each contained little fires here and there, you're able to basically go against these new group of people that are... What are they trying to do? They're for the humanists, right? They're like the extremist group where they're trying to look magicians look bad. And somehow, by leaning into it, we'll be able to maintain this problem, is my understanding of it. There's still the double seven stuff going on, right? With Shpo and, you know, Saigus's twin sisters. And other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Let's begin today's reaction. More... <laughs> Yotsuba backstory in the intro, bro. Bro, every fucking episode they do this shit, the screen gets all fuzzy, and then it's snowing, and we're in the Yotsuba mansion for like the first 30 seconds of the episode. They some they say some vague shit, then they go to the opening, and then we don't get the fucking rest. When is this Yotsuba meeting gonna fucking happen? We saw that guy at the party. Is this Mia or Maya? Bro, <laughs> you can't wait. Are they gonna line up with Miyuki? That's good enough. <laughs> I wonder if uh, the other, the, the, you know, the other auntie, our actual mom is bigger, but she's great. She's great. You can see the plot full in plain sight right here. Oh my god. Yeah, you kept me waiting for three episodes! That's fucked up! Miyuki have a seat. You only need someone to stand? What is he, a fucking bag boy? He kind of is to the Yotsubas. Tatsuya has to just like stand awkwardly here. Military action. Yokohama incident was the tower incident, right? Yokohama is not the end of season one where we did um Maturir Busto, right? I forget exactly where it was where. They're not talking about uh, this is season one nuke. So they're talking about Scorched Halloween right now then. Got it. Yes. Material bust. Oh. Cool. They want to induce major concessions from the Great Asian Alliance with this. The government. It's a Mio. Mio. This is new. Will Miss Mio be physically be able to withstand the use of the strategic class magic abyss? This is Mio. Completely new character. She is in some kind of wheelchair. Strategic. Abyss magic? Did she say abyss magic? Strategic class magic abyss. So we know material burst. We know heavy metal burst. But there's this new strategic class magic called abyss. One of the few other Japanese strategic magicians, yeah? New Soviet unions. Okay, some Russian strategic magician. Tatsuya actually made a reaction there. She is so big, man. Oh my god, I can't focus. The grudge from three years ago. Was that the Okinawa incident? But Tatsuya stays? Onisama! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Back at the school. Oh, April 20th! Hey, tomorrow's April 20th. Actually, some of you guys, it's already April 20th for you, right? It is National Weed Day. Sorry, Devil's Cabbage Day. Right, we have like members of the parliament coming in with news people to provoke the students into making them agree to say the military is making you do all this shit. Right. <laughs> That's so tiny and cute. Yeah. Three major puzzles of weight type magic. So it's like a basically a problem something that's never been solved before. Gravity control type thermonuclear fusion. What are you talking about? Okay. So just showing them that everything we do at school is not meant for military yield. Okay. Basically, like, infinite energy. 
Yes, peaceful application, guys. No military stuff. Cool, we got a plan. We're just going, gonna just show them, you know, experiments that's not military focused. Gravity control type thermonuclear fusion reactor. Gamma ray filter. Honokas. This is the order of people. So is it actually cousin? Or is this like an, like, a, like an alias, like an identity that we're hiding? Minami is actually our cousin because this family was yielded by Yotsuba or just like a fake identity. Fake identity, right? Let's go, Honoka! Honoka clutch, bro! Yo, where's Pixie at? Honoka Pixie action, where is it? Back in Onisama's place, one day before Tuesday. Oh, oh never mind! Shippo. That's pretty chill, right? Next 10 Master Clan selection. So each. Well, I'm not sure how often they do it, but the 10 Master Clans, they do like a selection thing where it's like new people, new families can basically take different positions. That's why she's so upset and so aggro because the next selection is coming and they want to make it up to the top 10 and Saigus is always ahead of them. So he wants to start shit. That makes a lot more sense. But now it makes a lot of sense why he's trying to start trying to start shit. Okay, this guy's a fucking asshole. He's aggro as fuck, but I like his hoodie. Something about this casual look at home, the 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 baggy hoodie, it looks very comfortable. They stole some research? Is that true? The parliament member, guys. <laughs> Human rights? Fuck that shit. He can mind his own business. <laughs> This is kind of funny for no fucking reason. I know that he didn't mean it like that, but it's like human rights? Fuck you, old man. Mind your own business. Shippo's definitely gonna fuck up. Are you sure? Wouldn't he tilt? <laughs> Him in this context is the Diet member, right? Not Tatsuya, right? So many flags. He's definitely gonna do something irresponsible. Takuma will 100% do something stupid. Okay, it's the day. D member. Whoa. Wait! Is this the first time we're actually seeing the principal of our school? I never. Three fucking seasons. I've never seen the principal in my life. I never asked who he even was. Holy shit, this guy exists. What the fuck? National Magic University affiliated first high school principal, Azuma Momoyama. Why was he never fucking introduced in the past seasons? And he does look like Wahlberg from Mad. Is it just me or does Kanda voice actor intensely sound really fucking annoying? Am I being a dick about his voice or are they intensely trying to make him sound really annoying? Vice principal. He's definitely here to try to uncover some shit, but he's acting like, oh, we're just doing our job. Let's go, Honoka! Yeah, where is Shizuku at? There she is! Perhaps the best girl. These reporters look all so sinister. Haha, <laughs> he got a little pissed off there. Not military purposes. I want a material burst this motherfucker right now. So tense. I don't even know what's gonna happen. Like, what? What? Did they turn the fucking button on? Like, what is it supposed to do? This was the, uh. This was the season three promo posters. Tatsuya and Miyuki, like that. 
Okay, Nuki, go ice thing on the computer board, and then... Let's go Saigusa, gang! Honoka? Right, to me, it just looks like a bunch of lights happening. But maybe it's working? Like, do you guys know what's supposed to happen? Or are you just watching a light show right now? I don't know. What are we doing right now? It's just a fucking light show. Uh, One of the three major puzzles of weight magic or something. Is that a good thing? I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna lie, I am so confused about what's supposed to be happening. Well, I have no idea about this study. No way, really? No traces? Basically, we're trying to like create energy, right? Sustainable energy. I think that's what they're talking about before. <laughs> Look at those CGI characters in the background, bro. Achan! Go, Achan! <laughs> Yo, Takuma looks so mad. Achan, you didn't do shit! Shit, this entire time. All you do is give the message. But even in like season one, what does Achan do? She like um uses some kind of like arrow into the sky and then boom, AoE and then communication. So it's very like fitting that she would be the one to give the announcement. Wow, amazing. Great. They didn't get the fucking military drama going on here. <laughs> That's what I want to ask. <laughs> This guy is every one of the fucking people watching this show right now that are just casual watchers. What just happened exactly? Um, I think the idea is whatever the three major puzzles of the weight magic, that's not really important. Basically, it's like they created like sustainable energy out of thin air or something. Maybe I'm wrong, but the whole idea is applications of magic that is not focused on military might to prove to the reporters that this school is not trying to just go full military propaganda. Sustained gravity control type thermonuclear fusion reactor experiment. What does that mean though? No, no explosions, no explosions, chill. Oh. oh, Prof? Oh, Prof is talking some shit to them. <laughs> like you monkeys. <laughs> yeah, for peace. Kanda's mad because they couldn't get the juicy gossip. This is a very beautiful soundtrack playing right now. And Miyuki's, you know, alone. Does he really feel privileged? Nah, I think he's talking shit. Nah, he Suzura sensei should have just destroyed them more. He was pretty polite there. I like this sensei. It's the first steps. Yo, this is a different way of hyping up Onisama, huh? Scientific experiment. Aww. Group picture! Omo oh. Lena? Wait! 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 I Did I miss something in the movie? So, in the movie, did she come back to Japan? Or is this like just recent? Was she always back in Japan? I thought that she was in America. And I still haven't seen the Stars movie. My bad. But like, this is like new, right? She is just like, she just showed up out of fucking nowhere, right? Happy birthday, Onisama. Fuck me. 
playing. I had this video. I should have just kept playing. All my answers can be answered. All my questions can be answered if I just let the video play for a little bit more. But the whole fun of the content is me being schizo. I was surprised, yeah. <laughs> Yo, what if Onisama just clicks off the exits off the video? He's just watching it like... I don't know, is he enjoying this? I don't know if he's appreciating or not. <laughs> you sent it as a recording! Come on now! Careful now. Ready. Birthday dinner? Is Miyuki only wearing an apron today? What is Miyuki wearing for Onisama's birthday? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, now she looking like a Yotsuba now. Goddamn well, that's not fucking alcohol. That's fucking Don Perrier fucking, you know, sparkling water like Ryu and drinking sparkling water like he's drinking fucking champagne. But damn, she went all out today. She, she, she went all out today. Oh, thank Tatsuya was actually shaken there. Oh, 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 the hand placement. Oh. Happy birthday. Oh. My little sister can't be this adorable. <laughs> You know, it's just like most average Japanese sibling ship. Who's watching this? Oh, who's That hairstyle? So before she had it up in like a little bun, now she has it down. If you look at Miyuki, her hairstyle today, it was kind of reminiscent of that bun. You know what I mean? I saw the hairstyle, like, usually she has it down, but, like, it's the Yotsuba jeans, man. She, 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 she obviously takes after her aunt, right? Like, hmm, 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 hmm. So, ne? Okay, back in the past. Oh! We're going back to the intro scene! I thought I'd have to wait till the next episode. Okay. <laughs> But she was kind of trash. No disrespect to Lena, but goddamn, the stars were kind of <laughs> dookie, bro. Oh, so are you helping us out here by tipping us off, or is this a threat? Lena. Where are we going with this? What does Auntie want? Is Auntie actually trying to help, or...? Quit? And do what? You gonna hire me? As a butler? Nah, 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 nah. We can't be doing that. We can't be doing that. Miyuki would never agree. So he can defy her. Yeah, he can defy her? Yo, that's some trailer shit! That's a life in the trailer! What the fuck? Are we, this is like mental magic, right? No, this isn't actually like physical fighting, but she casts some kind of magic there to affect Tatsuya's like psyche. Genjutsu shit. And then did Onisama break it? He knows how to counter the manga Q shotting gun. Beloved. I wonder how she actually thinks of us. Because, like, in the movie, too, our mom was, like, so fucking cold and distant because she did those, you know, experiments, and eventually she started to lose her humanity, right? I think someone mentioned that. But, like, Onisama is so competent. He's, like, one of the greatest assets that Yotsubas could ever have. But they always act like he's so beneath them and that he's not valuable. I don't know. The way that they treat him truly does make it seem like he's not valuable and they don't really respect him. So whenever he... Like, even the experiment that we did well today. Is Auntie, like, proud of us? I don't know. Breached my magic. The mind magic stuff there. What did you just say? Wait, wait, wait. Was it at least somewhat worth it to have indulged you? Is she talking to her? She's talking to herself. She's like, I made a bet that you can stay at the school and you're doing all these different experiments. So, 
I think she is confirming that to a certain point she does respect him and it's worth it. And that's another episode of yapping, 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 yapping. And there's nothing wrong with yapping. It's just that a lot of the normies would prefer to see a lot of action. And if there's no action, then the viewership suffers. And that's why I'm complaining. But it is what it is. I think today's episode was pretty good in highlighting, you know, what the whole arc is about right now. And it's like the humanists trying to make the magicians look bad. People at the school are being, you know, curated into the military. But actually, we do the thermonuclear gravity fusion reactor blah 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 thing for the sake of efficient energy for other purposes than military. And by doing that, we were able to kind of push away the news reporter people. The sensei was pretty cool. I don't think I remember the sensei. Was he there in season one? Remember season one when there was somebody, uh, there was a teacher that was holding up a falling wall. Was it this guy? If it was, my fucking bad. He was a fucking giga chat from the beginning, but I do remember he was the one. Oh my fucking God, bro. Holy shit, I just forgot it because it's been such a long time. But I do remember like someone being a giga chat in season one in the thesis arc when the wall fell down. And bro held it up, dude. This guy is fucking OG, one of the best teachers. I can't believe we had a fucking principal, bro. I guess the principal's not that important because like the principal just showed up out of fucking nowhere. Like he has like no weight in the story, bro. And then some of the other stuff that was kind of important was to understand why the Shippo family, Takuma and specifically, is so aggro and hostile towards the Saigusa. Other than this clan rivalry, it's because the selection exam is coming soon. Well, the next selection for the 10 great families. So it's like every selection cycle, you put your bid in, whoever was the most legit, you know, get approved and get in. Shippo wants to get in there, but Saigus is always there kind of like gatekeeping. I don't know why Shippo always think that it's just Saigus like gatekeeping. Maybe it's because they're literally right by, you know, they're like, the Saigus is like right above because there's like, you know, nine other fucking families involved too. But maybe because there's like old Saigus that Shippo, you know, like drama. That's why he focuses so much on that. And then the end with the Yotsuba stuff. It's very interesting to see how Anti treats us. Because like, let's get serious. Onisama is fucking cracked. And he should be the greatest asset that Yotsuba has. Yet they still treat him so cold. Because we, or we already saw some of that in the movie as well, right? And I'm sure in the future seasons they'll explain a little bit more. I'm just wondering how Auntie actually feels about us. Is she proud of us? Is she scared of us? Maybe a little bit of both, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.